depending on where your water is shut off, there are a few different things you can do to get it running again. Sometimes it's necessary to shut off a water supply valve for a specific plumbing fixture, like a sink, tub, or toilet. To turn the water to the appliance back on, look for a valve attached to a nearby pipe. It should look like a wheel or lever. If it's a wheel-shaped valve, turn the wheel two to four turns counterclockwise to open it. For a lever or ball valve, turn the valve so that it's parallel to the pipe. If you can't get the valve to turn at all, be careful not to force it. You may need to call a plumber for help so that you don't accidentally damage the valve or pipe. If you think the water has been shut off at the main valve, start by turning off all the faucets in the building except for one. Leaving one faucet on will help equalize the pressure in the pipes. Next, find the main water supply valve, which is typically located outside near the street. You may need to lift up a grate to access it. To turn the main water valve, you'll need a water key, which you can get at a hardware or home supply store. Use the key to turn the valve counterclockwise about a fourth turn at a time until the valve is completely open. Wait 20 seconds between each turn so you don't flood your pipes too quickly and damage them. If you get well water instead of municipal water, look for a ball valve, which looks like a lever, attached to the pipe above the water pump. Open it by turning it so it's parallel to the pipe. If you see a wheel-shaped valve at the bottom of the pump, leave it closed. Next, find the power switches for the pump. There may be one at the pump and another at the main breaker for the building. Make sure both of them are switched on. Wait a few minutes for the pump to start working. Then turn on a sink to make sure your water is flowing. If it's not, you may need to call a plumber for help.